and today I've got my review of the newly released, it's kind of like a remodeled, repackaged, recolored edition of the Osmo Mobile 6, and this is the Platinum Grey Edition. I do like the Platinum Grey Edition, and it looks great with that orange accenting record button, as well as the little kind of ring around the toggle wheel on the side there, that little zoom wheel and uh, focus wheel. It is a very elegant, sleek design. The design hasn't changed at all since the Osmo Mobile 6. It's the same great design. You still get the little tripod, the little legs on the base, which are very handy to set up if you want to calibrate the system, or if you want to you know, set it up on a desk somewhere and then have it as a recording setup because you don't have anyone to help you out. This is a perfect setup for something like that, especially with the extra extension rod. And then you can also attach really any tripod to the base if you need it to then track you as you're doing some sort of fitness video, instructional video, whatever it may be. This is the perfect setup for the solo content creator. So 219 Australian dollars to pick this up. If you are based in Australia, I will have a link in the description below to check it out on the D1 Stores website. And if you're an international viewer, then I will have another link below to check this out directly through DJI as well as Amazon. This is honestly one of those things that you need to get yourself if you have a decent, half decent kind of of mobile phone. So for me, I actually recently got the iPhone 14. I think it's on charge over there somewhere. And it actually has made a big difference for me because I can now use this as a really decent solo setup for myself. I can start tracking things nice and easily. And the camera system on a lot of the latest phones are really good, especially if you're out and about traveling, if you're going with your family to do different things. It's great to be able to capture those moments and to have things nice and steady and smooth, regardless of what you chuck this unit through. The big calling card here, and the reason that I'm actually covering this revised product, is the fact that we've now got Active Track 6.0. And that's available on both of the editions, but it came out alongside the new Platinum Grey version. Active Track 5 was great on the previous system, they've now updated it, so the Osmo Mobile 6, both colors, have actually got Active Track 6. But when I initially reviewed the Osmo Mobile 6, it did not have Active Track 6. A lot of my thoughts haven't changed since my initial review of the Osmo Mobile 6, so definitely go and check that video out as well. But the big calling card here is the updated Active Track 6.0. It's great to know that Active Track 6.0 is available on both the Platinum Grey and also the original Slate Grey edition. So regardless of what model you have, even if you've already got the Slate Grey, just make sure that you update the firmware and then you will have Active Track 6.0. Impressively enough, Active Track 6.0 is a big upgrade. And if this actually came out alongside the release of the original Slate Grey version, then it would have given me even more excitement to be able to announce that this is such a great upgrade. But the fact that we've got it later on is kind of interesting, right? Because we've got a new color and a brand new piece of software that is even more advanced than when I originally reviewed the system. So what it actually allows you to do is it now allows you to track subjects while using the zoom function. It also allows it to track with more going on in the scene. So it's just a lot more reliable when there's stuff going on, as well as when you're using that zoom wheel to zoom in to a subject, nearly drop the system there. But I found this to be remarkable. I was thinking that it wasn't going to be amazing for whatever reason. I thought, yeah, it's just going to be like a slight improvement, but it's still going to maybe lose the subject or have some issues here and there. But I was blown away with how responsive it was. It picked up on things like far in the distance and it had no issues tracking it. Like honestly, I was blown away with what it was able to do. You can see from the screen recordings from my device itself that it did a great job of tracking things when they were moving. Like there was someone in front of me that I was tracking, it locked onto their head and I was a distance back, but it would continue tracking them regardless of what they would do, regardless how much I would zoom in, out, no matter how much input I would put into the actual uh, zooming wheel itself, it was still able to track no matter what I threw at it. Like I was even tracking kite surfers in the distance and they were like well out there in the middle of the ocean. And amazingly enough, when I zoomed in, the quality obviously dropped. It wasn't the most amazing uh, quality video in the world, but I was zoomed right in and it was still able to track a kite surfer that was traveling very fast and even going behind different objects it was able to track it like I had different things when I would go behind trees or go behind different like 
I guess, greenery, shrubbery, whatever you want to call it, and it would continue tracking. It seems to be a lot more intelligent where it can think ahead and continue tracking what's going on. So that really was the standout feature of the updated software of ActiveTrack 6.0. Everything else is the same as I mentioned in my initial review, still a phenomenal smartphone gimbal. That extension rod does make a big difference. A lot of people have got the older versions where they don't have the extension rod. This does make a great difference because you kind of have it on a ball head at the end so you can adjust the angle nice and easily to get like more of a selfie angle like that. Perfect if you're traveling, you got your family, you got friends with you. So easy to be able to angle that and you can, you know, set it up like I said with any sort of tripod, set it up, have it tracking you, have it just doing a time lapse or a photo mode, like whatever you need it to do. This thing is extremely versatile. There are a bunch of features in there. And I guess the other big calling card here to upgrade to the Osmo Mobile 6 is this side wheel. So the side wheel has a few functions. You can change between the focus as well as the zooming options. In this video, I was testing a lot of the zooming because I wanted to see how well Active Track 6 would go. But to also be able to have control over focus is great, right? Because if you are a solo content creator, maybe you're filming like a little music video for someone or some little short films, to be able to have control over that focus and to create some nice perspective is great, right? And then on top of that, you can then press the button and go straight into the zoom mode, which then gives you some more versatility and some dynamic controls. And, you know, using the zoom mode as well as moving can create some cool perspectives. And like I said, it was consistent and reliable. No matter what I was tracking, it just continued to track it. So that was something that actually really did surprise me. I didn't seem to lose really any subjects that I was tracking. Crazy to me. Like I could just lock it into a tree whatever I wanted to track and just continue moving around. It never seemed to lose the subject. So that's great. That's what you want from a system like this. It was very reliable. Battery life's been great. The functionality, like the control of it is, as you would expect, like I mentioned in my initial review, very responsive, very consistent and reliable. The trigger on the back, I would say, like when I compare it to other gimbals, other smartphone gimbals, I would prefer that to protrude a little bit more out to feel more like a trigger. It's definitely got a very short, trigger on it, um, but it works great and it does the job for most people. It also does keep it uh, as more of a sleek design, but that's really the only thing I can say about the design. I would just like a larger trigger on there, something with more push to it. Um, but besides that, a perfect upgrade, a perfect system for people who need a smartphone gimbal for travel, for content creation, whatever it may be, this system is great. It does have all of those smart modes that I've mentioned in my previous review. So you're getting all the time-lapse options, you're getting the dynamic zoom, which is really cool. Uh, you know, you're getting a bunch of other video options as well. And the application to be able to utilize all of this through the Mimo application is great, reliable, consistent, responsive, all that kind of stuff. Really, I can't knock a system like this for its price point. You're getting a lot here. And just to be able to like have that more, I guess, consistency with your shots when it comes to stabilization and tracking, this is the one to go for, really. It's very reliable, and to get the newer edition with the Active Track 6 is definitely a big upgrade. So, if you've already got the Osmo Mobile 6, maybe the other edition, all you've got to do is upgrade the firmware and you'll get Active Track 6. If you've got like a previous edition, like one of the SEs or Osmo Mobile 4 or something like that, this is a big upgrade now. It always was a big upgrade when they released it. The extension rod's great. The wheel's great. Just the form factor, it's such a tiny system now, so easy to pack away. But then Active Track 6 has definitely taken this guy to the next level. So if you did just get yourself a new phone and you wanna make the most out of the video and the photo options, I would say get yourself a smartphone gimbal that's gonna take it to the next level. If you're gonna be traveling soon, again, really good point to get something like this. The other big calling card here, which a lot of people have enjoyed, is the fact that it's got like a quick launch feature. So, you know, I can have it locked in like so. That's what it looks like. It's a Little tiny form factor when it's packed away but then as I flip it out it immediately powers on the system so obviously you'd have this little clamp attached to your phone you flip it out power it on and then it's magnetic ready to go straight away so very reliable very consistent very easy to use and uh, well worth the upgrade if you are in the market for a new smartphone gimbal anyway guys thank you so much for watching I do appreciate all the amazing support and I will have those links below if you want to check out this new product the Osmo Mobile 6 Platinum Grey or the Slate Grey doesn't matter which one you go for they're both really cool I think I prefer the Slate Grey it's just a different color that we haven't seen from DJI, especially in the Osmo Mobile range. So that's cool, but both of them are great. Uh, go for whichever one you want, and uh, I will chat to you in the next one. Peace.